The global climate is changing, and the effects of these changes are currently being felt right here in St. Kitts and Nevis. Well, we certainly have been getting a lot of rain, and that's, that's, a, lot, that's a big change to me. Not a lot of rain, and sometimes we, um, the color of the water, sometimes it's more green than blue. And we hardly catch any fish around that when it's like that color. And that's been going on for the last five years or so. I mean, this is supposed to be Mahi Mahi season, and we just started catching them like last week. You know, it should have been catching like 100, 200 pounds a week, a day. As you could see, like 60 pounds a day now. Because of global warming, many glaciers are melting throughout the planet. That water flows to the oceans, causing sea levels to rise and threatening coastal communities. Changes in ocean currents affect rainfall and temperature patterns, and this has an impact on agriculture. Well, last year, 2006, for example, we had rain for most of the year, you know. The rainfall was very good, but on the other hand, the temperature was very high most of the time, you know, so it put a constraint on the productivity of your crop. In previous years, I've noticed that we used to have um, clearly marked dry season and rainy season, but nowadays it's not so much defined, it's it more or less blending to run into one another. Recently we have been having lots of floods coming over, whenever we have high seas, straight from the sea and into the pond. Climate change has not been kind to Connery. Erosion of the hillside over the years has left large rocks protruding out of the hillside above the dwelling houses. As a result, it has created a hazard, sometimes resulting in dangerous rock falls. Throughout the region and the globe, people are noticing more unusual things happening and scientists predict that the frequency and intensity of extreme weather events will continue to grow. The weather may tend to be more severe in certain places and on the other hand, you can expect more droughts in, in other places. These are of concern as well in the Caribbean, in, in our islands. We are concerned about the rising sea level, as to how it will impact on our economies. Um, we rely heavily on tourism and we are concerned as to how it will affect the coastlines. The waters of the Caribbean region are warming up and as a result hurricanes can become more powerful. The additional heat gives them the energy that they need to become stronger. Are you prepared for what climate change may bring? A storm could wipe out in a matter of hours, 20 years of development, what we are trying to build now uh, could be wiped out in a matter of a few hours. Our livelihoods, people's livelihoods will be lost. People's homes will be destroyed. The St. Kitts and Nevis Red Cross has been helping communities prepare for the growing risk of disasters. The European Commission, through a program called PECO, supports this work. Disaster Preparedness European Commission Humanitarian Aid Office. It provides training, workshops, and emergency relief items to help to establish community disaster response teams. Another aspect of the PECO 5 project was to increase awareness community level of the impacts of climate change and global warming on the lives and livelihoods of, of, of vulnerable groups. Let us begin to educate people about climate change and its effects. I think we need the Red Cross, so working with other organizations, governmental and civil society groups, to come together and begin this program of sensitizing local people, farmers. The fishermen. Together we can all make St. Kitts and Nevis a safer place and have every community, every village and every parish aware and prepared in all aspects of disaster preparedness in an ever-changing climate. We may not be able to prevent the climate from changing, but we certainly can be ready. 
Be prepared. Join your community disaster response team.